put some leaves in here. These are banana leaves. Um, which I also researched something about. You could put banana peelings in some water. Let it sit for a couple of days. And that's good fertilizer. So since these come from a banana tree that I have. I'm just going to put those leaves in it. Now my worms. I just got them in today. I got to put my gloves on. Let's see what these babies look like. Y'all, I'm trying to get a hang of... These mosquitoes are so disrespectful. Like, really disrespectful. I'm trying to get the hang of trying to record... As I do this, and it's quite difficult for me because I'm so used to just going. I come out here and get in my garden. I just lose my mind and I just go. So to remember to, oh, snap, grab your phone. Oh, snap, record. Hold it like this. <laughs> it's killing me. So this is what it came in. I think I spent $12 on Amazon for these. I think I got the red worms, if I'm not mistaken. This is the package it came in. They don't tell you which ones I bought. But I think it was the red worm, red worms. So let me put my gloves on. And I'm going to put these worms in other areas of my garden as well. Random slots like this. One right here that I started. I'm going to put a few in there and cover that up. Wet that down real quick. Like I said, it, it can only help me. And then I'm going to put a couple of them in this bed somewhere. I might better put it there because I got relishes here. I got sweet potatoes coming all in the middle. So I might be safe to put some here. Um, I'm thinking with y'all, baby. I'm thinking with y'all because some spots I already planted some things and they just haven't came up yet so I will hate to disturb where I already got something coming up at so we can put some here so yeah that's what we're going to do now I'm going to go ahead and put these in there I'll be right back so I put one of my gloves on y'all we don't have a problem because I can't hold my phone with these gloves on so we put to make it do what it do with just one glove but I open it up can y'all see y'all might can't even see But they're in there. I open it up. And let's go. Put them in. So it looks like. They came in a little dirt too. So that helps. Because they got their own little compost. Trying to show y'all. There they go. There they go. So that's what they look like. Very in. I'm going to put a couple of more in here. Because this looks like a pretty nice sack. 
couple of gonna drop a couple of them in there. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> And I probably didn't put that one as deep as I was supposed to. But we're learning. We're going to figure this thing out. Put something there. On the package. Y'all, I did that. It wasn't even on the camera. On the package, it said they can't be in heat. The mailman did put them in my mailbox, which really wasn't that hot. But I'm guessing, or I'm hoping, that's why they moving a little slow. I'm really hoping. And I'm going to take some of these, because like I said, my, my compost that I have is over here. Y'all see it? It's over here. Okay. So we just patched the last little bit up out of that bed. Now we gotta add a little dirt. So I don't need that much dirt. Like I said, I don't wanna fill it up. I want to keep adding to it. And while I'm trying to hit these mosquitoes and stuff, y'all go ahead and hit that like button. Give your girl a thumbs up. And go try it. The plastic container was only like $2. The worms was about $12, but you get a whole bunch of them. Put all your straps in there. I'm going to close the lid. I'm going to put a little water in here first, y'all, to get them started. Then I'm going to close the lid, and we're going to see what they do. So there we have it, guys. One of my mini compost buckets that I actually put it in my garden. And I'm just going to close the lid tight so nothing can crawl in it or get in it and we are all set it's actually beaming down to where the sun's at so it's gonna warm it up heat it up do everything it needs to do it got the holes around the side of it i watered it let them get a little wet and now whenever i have straps i'll dump them in there 